Hey guys, Kiki1024 here. I don't know what I was just doing. How's everyone? Hopefully good. Um, I'm just coming on to do a quick update. My eye, I'm sorry. They're like twitching. Oh no, I'm coming on here to do a quick update via the phone again. Um, on my six week, yes, six week, um, update for the baby. And I, so six weeks was very, very interesting to say the least. I'm just going to jump right in, um, start off that I, if you watched the last video, my numbers and everything went up and then they called me to come in and I got to ultrasound. I think I showed you guys a picture of that. I hope I did. If not, I will insert it on this video, but I did get one. I was, um, six weeks exactly. Um, another one. I think the last time I showed y'all was I, it was just a yolk set, and then at six weeks exactly, I saw the baby just a little, 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 little teeny little thing. Oh, um, and I saw the heartbeat. Okay. So, but prior to that, good news. Um, so I got called into the office, and I, they told me that it was just going to be like a pelvic exam. So I went by myself because I was like, oh, this is going to be nothing. Like, you know, real quick, whatever. So I get in and the doctor starts talking about how, you know, my levels are going up and she doesn't uh, understand why, with them being so high when they did ultrasound, why they didn't see anything. And I'm thinking, that's strange because then I was just in here three, four days ago, we saw the yolk sac and I was like, okay. Um, and that was like at five weeks and three days or something like that. Um... And she's like, well, my report, it talks about nothing about a yolk sac. And then I was like, well, I can show you the picture. I have the ultrasound picture with me. And I'm like, oh, I realized it was in my car, but I did take a picture of it on my phone. So I'm showing her the phone. And as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, hold on. We're at the doctor's office. Um, why can't you just pull up the results on the screen? And I was like, I'm thinking to myself, maybe you have the old report. Because I got one I was like four weeks exactly just to make sure it wasn't ectopic or anything because I have endometriosis. And I was like, maybe you got the old report. Sorry, guys, I'm holding the phone and I'm trying to prop my arm up so it doesn't get all heavy and tired. Anyway, she's like, oh, no, I think I have the most recent one. And she goes, she calls for the nurse and she's like, you know, can you bring her the report? So she brings it in and she's like reading off to me. She's like, oh, it does say you accept one here. And I'm just looking at her like, what the heck? Okay, so, and she's like, well, well we expect to see more. And I was like, well, I was only five weeks. And like I don't know so she went on to say that um she thinks my numbers are going to continue to rise and that nothing's going to ever come of it and um do you just it's like it's just going to get bigger and bigger and there'll never be a baby in there and with those like those words it just it took my breath away and I started bawling and just crying immediately and then she was kind of cold about it it wasn't like she was like comforting or warm or anything she just looking at me like yeah so that's what it is and I was like, okay, so basically I'm waiting for a miscarriage. And she's like, yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. And I was like, so can we do another ultrasound? She's like, if you want to. I mean, you were just in here four days ago. Well, she kept saying three, but it was four days because I went on on Monday. And when I came back, this was a Friday. And I'm thinking four days, but she's like, you were just here. So I, I doubt we're going to see anything. But if you want to, I'll order one. And I'm looking at her like, what? If I want to, I, you just told me my baby. So, you know, that's just the elder. I'm just looking at her and I'm just crying. And then it's like a long wait. Uh, we asked the ultrasound tech if she could squeeze me in. And she's like, Kiana, you were, you were just here. Everything is fine. I saw the yolk sack. It was early. You come back um, on the 21st to get uh, another ultrasound, you know. And I'm like, yeah, but. And I'm breaking down in the like waiting room area, I, like check out. And people are looking. I'm just like, I, I just lost it. And she's like. No, 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 it's okay. Let me go talk to the doctor. And she's like, I don't know what she's talking about, but, you know, we'll get this other one. So she's like, I just got three patients in front of you, so I'm going to squeeze you in there. You know, I'm quick and stuff, and she's super sweet and nice. So shout out to my ultrasound lady. I loved her. But, um, like, during that wait, I just, I didn't know how to call my boyfriend and say anything. Like, I, I was starting to text him. I'm like, I how do you say that over text and I was just emotional and crying and he's on his way to work and I told him he didn't need to come because this is just a uh, pelvic exam I do this by myself and then I just called my mom 
and because he works like 45 minutes away probably from the ultrasound place or maybe a half an hour I don't know but I called her and I just like say pray for me and she said what happened I was like no just say a prayer and then she like kept calling back and I just didn't answer and I went in the bathroom and I like cried like an hour had passed and I'm just like praying like oh my gosh so fast forward um finally it was my time for the ultrasound and I didn't want to get like um not excited I, I just from what the doctor told me how she was talking she was just so cold and I I didn't want to expect to see anything or just I don't know I was preparing myself for the worst because I had no idea what was going to happen so I was like okay so I'll, when I got up on the table it's just like you know you know be like keep your head high it's gonna be okay instead of pray you're not even in God's hands but then just from how the doctor was talking I just was like oh my gosh like I, I wish I had had someone there with me so I'm like already on the table crying and then as soon as she's like um goes right to the baby and then you can see a little flicker on the chest like pulsing I'm like oh my god I can see the heartbeat and I was oh my god I think I started crying like a river like just even more like oh and she's and now I was just saying look tech looked at me and was like oh you know what I knew everything was going to be fine, so this is a big fat mm for the doctor right in her face. I was like, yeah. She's like, see? It's like, and I was six weeks exactly, and um, saw the heartbeat, and it was just like, amazing. <laughs> so um, I was like so happy and overwhelmed, overjoyed, and I finally um, was just like let out a okay thank you god like i don't know what that lady talking about when I, the doctor and i was thinking to myself why would she say all these things before she even knew what was going on before she ordered the ultrasound or had the correct report in front of her you say that and then you get someone all worked up and it's just a horrible thing and you know my heart goes out to people who go through that because that it hurt i was so attached already to this baby i am and at that moment, I'm just like, oh, my God, it, hurt, it hurts so bad. And for someone to say it just like that, and it's just like, hey, take it. And um, I was by myself, so it was, I was just like, it was a lot for me. So that was a lot. And I'm more than ecstatic, happy that everything is great with my baby, and I just can't wait. So they gave me a due date of July 10th um, on that visit to six weeks. So, you know, they... Uh, set up more appointments and just went from there and I'm like I don't want to see that doctor she never came back out and said anything apologize or nothing I didn't see her but or the other rest of the staff did and I'm like yeah thank you I appreciate that I'm sorry I'm like looking at the screen I'm it's difficult on the phone but anyway you know I appreciated that I'm like I don't ever want to see her I don't want her near my chart near nothing around my baby or anything <laughs> you're like banned <laughs> Oh, home. So anyway, that was a relief, and I finally called my boyfriend. He's like, "You should just call me." I'm like, "I know, but you were at work, and it was just, it was hard. I didn't, I was just a mess at that point, and I didn't know if I was coming, going, nothing. I was just numb. So it was just, I just called my mom just so extra say a prayer, and I don't want to say nothing. Hell no, worry, him before I knew anything. Ugh, it was just a mess. You guys can imagine. So I rambled on about that for ten minutes. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but everything's great with my jelly bean. Um. Today, I am feeling great, uh, like, for symptoms with this pregnancy so far. Super early still. Um, I have waves of nausea so like I said, and I just get the sensation. I, I only throw up, like, maybe a handful of times, so I'm thankful, hopeful that it stays on this path. <laughs> um, what else? It's like, I don't even... Uh, my chest though is so sore. Oh my gosh, I have to sleep with a bra because, like, I when I roll, if I move from side to side, it's just oh my god, they're so sore. <laughs> I'm waiting for that to let up, and they're getting big, and I'm like, what the heck? I don't know. <laughs> um, it's it wasn't like this with my line, so I'm just like, okay. Um, I think I have just a feeling that I'm having a boy. I don't. I just feel that way. I don't know if it's because I already have a little girl and everything, but I think it's a boy, but we will not be finding out. But, um, 
I just skipped the wrong head. Yeah, that's all it was the symptoms. Um, <sighs> cravings? I don't think. Seafood. I think I said I was one. Like fish, salmon, uh, shrimp. And I was eating like that. And I'm like, I have to slow up on the fish and shrimp and all that. Can't have but so much of that. Um, what else? I haven't gained any weight. I will attach a picture of a belly shot or like I'll add it on towards the end um I think that is all I think that's it uh TMI though is the constipation is crazy um and I'm drinking water like crazy that's all I drink I ran I randomly I seldomly drink like soda or juice or anything I don't know so I'm going to ask the doctor if we can do something about that because it's getting scary. <laughs> um, what else? I think that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks to everybody who's watching. Leave me a comment or something. Say hey. <laughs> um, it's for my boyfriend, too. Say hey. You better like my video. <laughs> um, that's it. Anybody have questions, comments, or anything, leave me a message or whatever. Thanks for watching, and until next time, seven week update. Like um, today I am. This is today I'm actually seven weeks and two days, two days. Um, so I'll do an update on that right after this, or maybe I'll wait till Sunday because it's Saturday because it's been eventful too. And <laughs> anyway, so it was good, and Jelly Bean's great, and I'm super excited to meet. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say I'm just excited to meet the baby because I want to say it seems like a boy, but who knows? Won't find out. No one will find out. <laughs> so if family's watching, no one's gonna find out. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, and I will attach the uh, belly shot in the ultrasound pictures. Okay, thank you. Bye.